Thank you, sir. Uh, next speaker is uh, Janardhan Reddy. He's going to speak on behalf of his siblings as well, Pushpa Nair, uh, Shardhan Reddy, and Raghu Ram Reddy. Janardhan. Call Sesha ready? Sesha? Jai Ram was the eldest brother of Pushpa. Sharvanan over there. And where is Raghuram? Oh, Raghuram over there and myself. After the death of our parents, Pedi Reddy and Venkatamma, Jay was the person that bonded the family together. He brought warmth, love, and compassion to the family and provided us advice and direction when we needed them most. My own academic achievement is due primarily to his advice and direction. Today, first and foremost, me and my siblings, we want to express our gratitude to our parents and our two aunties, my father's sisters, who never went to school. They showered us with enormous amounts of love. They sacrificed everything so that their children could have education and better life than what they had. I recall my father borrowing money, money from moneylenders at 30% interest per annum so that Jay could get his university education. Today, we see that foresight and those investments have brought great rewards, not only to our family, but to the community at large. Today, we also wish to pay tribute to late Dr. Shokad Ali Sahib, who studied in New Zealand in the 1950s and created an opportunity for Jay to go and study there. It was Shokat who was instrumental in getting Jay to New Zealand for his studies. For us as a family, our regular meeting place was at our family home in Bitongo or in Naviango. We enjoyed food, drinks, laughter, music, uh, with our family. Our discussions focused on farming mainly, but also covered problems of our Fijian society and government policies. Every weekend, we enjoyed our long walks in Tuvu, Lotoka Foreshore, 
and sometimes we went out climbing Sambeto Hills. These long walks gave us good health, and Jay had good health for most of his life. Jay subscribed to the Buddhist principle of doing no harm, or ahimsa, as they call it, they say. He believed in non-violence. What Jay wanted for Fiji was not ethnic division, not hatred, not violence, or lawlessness. Instead, he wanted love, he wanted wisdom, he wanted compassion, and he wanted happy coexistence of all the communities. His vision for Fiji was reflected in his speech to the Great Council of Chiefs in 1997. With the passing of Jay, I and my siblings can never deny the pain that we carry. We would like to remember him as a blessing and as a lesson for our family. We want to treasure the life that he shared with us over the pain that his death has brought to us. Rest in peace, dear brother. You shall forever live in our hearts. <laughs>